Are you using AI in your online business right now? Today, I am excited to share with you my favorite AI tool of choice, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of a few of the different things that make this amazing tool so easy to use. But before we dive into that, I want to talk about how you want to think about AI in your business right now. First things first, AI only works for you if you already know a few different things. So what I mean by that is if you're using AI to help you craft ideas for your offer, if you're using it to create emails, if you're using it to come up with content ideas, you have to feed it information. Your output is as good as your prompt, which means that the prompt that you're using in whatever AI tool you're choosing to use needs to set the stage. And this is why I'm so excited to be sharing my favorite AI tool of choice right now, because it combines multiple things and means that I don't actually have to tell it what to do because it has got built in roles already included. Now, if you are familiar with using ChatGPT, Claude, any of those language models, then you already know that in order for you to get the best use out of that particular tool, you have to tell it how to act, right? That's why you'll see templates for prompts that start off with, you're now a ABC. What the tool that I'm going to share with you does is removes that. And you've got a whole bunch of personas included that will already act like whatever it is that you need to be basically your AI team for you already built in to this tool. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So the tool that I want to walk you through today is called Magi. Now, Magi is a paid tool, but honestly, it just makes so much sense, particularly if you want to start using it on a regular basis in your business. So if you're wanting to use AI in your business right now, then you also have to filter through a couple of things. So if you are using ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, any of those on their own, and even if you are paying for them, anything that you put into that particular AI model is being added to their database. With Magi, that doesn't happen. So everything that I input into Magi is private and is only accessible inside my own account. So none of the language models that I use in here are adding whatever I talk about in here to their databases, which means that I can utilize my own proprietary information and make even better use of this tool. So right now we're looking at Magi, app.magi.co if you want to go and check it out. Uh, if you love me and you want to support me, there is an affiliate link in the description, full disclosure. That doesn't mean that it costs any more for you. It just means that I get a bit of a kickback if you choose to use it. But I want to walk you through all the different things that I use Magi for and also how you can utilize this if you are just starting out. And if you are already using another language model, then you can actually import any of your chat history into Magi. Now, if you want to know how to do that, let me know. I'm happy to do another video on that. But today, I really just want to talk about a few of the key things that I use with Magi. But what I also want to show you is the different personas that are already built into this amazing platform. So the great thing about this is, is that you can use this for both you know, prompt text in outputs, but you can also use it for images as well. So you can see here, I've got chats and I've got images. You can save prompts. So if you create a prompt that you want to use with multiple language models, then that's where you would save it. Personas is what I'm going to really walk you through. And then there's a couple of other areas here that you don't need to worry about. What I use the most is the chats and then everything else. Um, but I do just want to show you what it looks like when I start with a chat. So the first thing that you're going to do is come up here and you're going to choose the language model. Now, depending on what it is that you're wanting to do, it will depend. So I'm going to share that chart, that image of which model to use when for you now. Here is a reasoning model 
view of how you make decisions about which one to use in which scenario. So this is actually um, output by Magi and it says, which LLM should I use? So LLM language model, that's basically what you're looking for here. And then it gives you a couple of different scenarios. So I will read through these just in case they don't show up on the screen very well. The first one is complex analysis, math, legal document review, scientific research, synthesis. So if you're doing any of those kind of deep analytical type of stuff, then the reasoning model that you're going to want to use is creative. If you're looking for creative thinking or ideation, then you're going to use GPT-01. Uh, if you need accuracy, empathy, or copywriting, then you're going to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet. If you need structured, verbose, or technical, then you're going to use Gemini 2.0 Thinking. And yes, there are different language models within each different language model, right? So Gemini has a few different ones. I'm going to show you a little bit more about how you can tell which one is which. Then the other options are if you are wanting content creation, writing, repurposing, planning, which is what I use the most, customer support, answering simple questions, simple data extra extraction, summarization, then you're probably going to go with a standard LLM rather than the reasoning models. So if you need, so exactly the same thing, if you need creative thinking, then you're going to go with GPT-4.0. If you need accuracy, empathy, or copywriting, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And if you need structured, verbose, or technical, then you're going to go with Gemini Pro. So I recommend that you take a screenshot of this, or if you want it, let me know. I'm happy to um, share that with you. So just comment below, reasoning models, and I will get that into your hot little hands. So now that we understand kind of how you're going to utilize Magi, let's step into how we then go ahead and choose these different personas. So we're looking at Claude, you can see here we've got Gemini and then we've got GPT. And then these other ones that are in here are for coding, image creation, that type of thing. So not needing to worry about that. One thing that you definitely want to pay attention to when it comes to Magi is the usage amount over here. So when you pay for Magi, you start at $29 a month and it unlocks a certain number of words. So this will tell you how much usage you can expect uh, based on the model that you use. So really pay attention to that because if it goes above one, then you can burn through your word usage pretty quickly. And at any given time, you can actually view that and I'll show you where you do that in a second. So the first thing that you have to do is choose your AI model. So I'm gonna use the 3.5. Claude Sonnet, so that's already been chosen. And then I'm going to come into here and I'm going to have a look at the different personas. So this is where if you were using an individual model like Chat GPT or Claude directly, this is where you would be saying, you now need to act like this. I don't need to do that. I can just come in here and choose the persona. Now, as you click on a persona, or if you wanted to go and have a look at all of them, it does actually break them down. Um, but you can see here, you've got all the different possible options that you can come up with. And this is where you will also create your own personas if you want as well. So lots of different options here. You can see um, all the different versions. Uh, the, some of them have been added, updated, all of those things. So it's really one of the best options for you when it comes to um, minimizing having to kind of come up with a way to start using it when you've already got roles built in. So what I tend to do is use, if I come back up to here, if I'm wanting to write any copy, then I'm actually going to use my brand voice. Now I've already trained it to act like me, so it makes life a lot easier. But if you haven't done that, then you can come in and use the brand voice generator, which will help you create a voice for your brand. Or if you are wanting to write a blog post, or if you're wanting to write a sales email, then you might choose the copywriter. So that's the one that I quite like to do. So I'm going to use um, the version that has got a little image with it. Now, I don't need to start off by saying, hey, you're now uh, XYZ. Don't even need to worry about that. 
now I can just simply come in and say, hey, and I normally go, hey, Maggie, um, just like you would with any AI model. Um, I'm wanting to create a blog post about three simple ways to get started with email marketing. Um, can you ask me some questions one by one to help flesh out what to include? Done. And then it's going to start doing its thing. What I really love about using Magi is that it doesn't matter the conversations that I've already had, it actually knows my business. It learns over time. So I can switch between models and all of that between chats. And within a chat, I can switch language models. I can switch assistants and come up with different content. So the first question, and it's just going to go through and ask me a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm not going to worry about that one right now, but I, because I really do just want to show you one of the ones that I use it for the most. And that is, I am someone who loves human design. So I bake human design into the majority of my courses for anyone that wants to learn how to add or implement and integrate their human design into their business, right? So making aligned decisions following human design. So I actually created a human design persona so that it would act like a coach for me. So if I come over to the personas here, you can see here that I have got um, MG business coach. So I'm a manifesting generator. So that is the prompt that or the persona that I have created. And I already have a chat going and I don't need to start a new chat. I just keep all the conversation going within the chat. And based on the different language models, I will get slightly different outputs. But if you want to create your own personas, there is a, a couple of things that you want to think about. When you are building your own persona, you definitely want to feed as much information as possible. But when you start the persona, you want to basically set it up to ask you a whole bunch of questions so that it can build the persona for you. So you don't actually create the persona here. You create it in the chat first. But I wanted to show you what my specific persona looks like so you can kind of see um, how it does this. So you can see here in the instructions, I've basically said you are a human design business coach specializing in supporting a manifesting generator with, sac with sacral authority. So I've made this really specific to me, right? So you can do this for yourself. Your client has a defined throat, G and sacral centers with an open head, Ajna, heart, solar plexus, root and spleen centers. Gate 52 is defined in the root center. Uh, your primary role is to help your client make decision, make business decisions aligned with their human design strategy of respond and inform while honoring their sacral authority. Be direct, straightforward, supportive, yet firm and use friendly, empowering language. Um, when coaching, focus on these key principles. Now, this is the result of me having a conversation with the actual chat to craft these instructions. So if you're going to do this for yourself, you just want to make sure that you go through, um, If you, particularly if you want to do this from a human design perspective, you'd probably just want to come in and replace all of this with your own information. So if you want your own human design business coach that is directly speaking to just your specific type strategy authority, profile numbers, centers defined, open. If you wanted to add in all your gates, you could drop a comment below that basically says HD prompt and I will give you all the questions that you need to ask to set this up for yourself inside Magi. The other thing that I've also done is uploaded my actual human design chart from my own chart tool um, and you'll find that in the description below if you don't have your human design chart with a business viewpoint um, that's in there. And then I've also uploaded some of the books that I've written around using human sign in your business to help it continue to make sure that the responses 
are specific and correct for me. So once I've done all of that, then I'm just going to click save changes. So Magi is honestly my number one go-to tool when it comes to creating content but also creating images. And I'll just give you a very quick view of some of the images that I've created using Magi. Now, some of these are good, like this one here is, looks exactly like me. And I love, love, love some of these. So I love using a tool that keeps everything private. And I hope that this has helped you see how AI could support you in your business. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to do a whole complete series on utilizing Magi and how I do it, how you set up your brand voice, all of those things. Let me know. And one of the ways that I really use Magi is helping me craft emails, particularly when it comes to email sequences, that type of thing. So if you want to learn more about crafting your own amazing email sequences, the video that is coming up on your screen right now is going to walk you through that. I'll see you there.